Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so uh, this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising, a monthly tarot reading November 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we are going to jump right into it. Oops. All right. So uh, the first card, which stands for the topic of uh, your month, we do have the Emperor card, followed by the next one, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the month. That is going to be the Queen of Wands. Third card points to intentions, the best the best intentions you can have through the months or in other words that card could be taken as well as say the things that you can go for here things that you can do we do have the four of cups for what it seems fourth card will represent will represent the lesson that you need to learn throughout the months of november here capricorn and that is going to be the chariot card this is also could be considered as a position of why this is all happening and the last one we do have the energies that are to support you. This is going to be the Tree of Swords. I love this card when it comes to this position. Energies that are to support you. One of the best energies, supporting energies card. And you're going to see why when we get to there. But before we go into that, guys, let's run the cards one more time. So, um, Emperor card, that is in regards to the topic and the theme of your month, followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges that you are to overcome here, that is to be the Queen of Wands. Third card, it will stand for the best intentions you can have to, that you can have throughout the month, that is going to be the Four of Cups. Fourth card stands for the lesson that you are to learn or what the month is going to teach you here, why this is all happening, that is to be the Chariot card. And the last one, um, we do have the Tree of Swords, which stands for the um, energies, positive energies that are to support you throughout the month. So um, the Emperor card here as a topic and theme, in your case, is going to be catalyzed by uh, the um, Knights of Pentacles. So we do have a active neutrals. And while you can keep your... Um, your agenda or rather like your plan or whatever uh, tasks you have set uh, before yourself, you know, for the month of November, it will require a little bit more seriousness from your behalf. What I mean is that uh, you have went, you went for way below your capabilities, either career wise or either relationship wise for one or another reason. I would say that you are slacking here with these two cards, guys. You are taking way too big of a break for what the cards are pointing. And instead, the, um, the circumstances throughout the months of November will call for you to be way more attentive 
to the uh, to the matters to be way more re uh, responsible so you can breathe on reliability into those that are depending on you into those that are assessing uh, that, that are assessing you for example bosses uh, you know into your career uh, romantic partners and etc etc because uh, this month calls for you to show how uh, like i said how reliable you are how capable you are to systemize a, a particular structure in your life in either a career relationship or maybe into both maybe this month is going to call you to make a symbiosis a fusion in between the both of those fields and to manage them you know uh, and it will be a tough task why because it will require from you to set certain priorities or rather like to exert like i said structure and consistency into your life to make a plan to make a to-go list if you want to say it that way <clears throat> and to take responsibility for it and uh, what this on a positive end is going to provide you with it's more time for yourself more time that you have uh, anticipated as a matter of fact additionally to that is going to allow you to face the ups and downs of the daily routine and of the daily environment in a much more um, easier fashion so they are not going to um, influence you in a negative way uh, in any way and uh, lastly you are going to feel way more confidence applying for example for a new job finding yourself a new partner or in general uh, much more confident and much more reliable you're going to feel your own personal reliability for establishing yourself a much better future it is not excluded as well capricorn to uh, achieve some or rather like to take throughout the month of November, a little bit of a leadership position with the Emperor card. And if that's the case with you, that leadership position will, ca will call for a, a lot of responsibilities. Now, uh, the Emperor card is one of the m most heaviest cards in tarot in regards to responsibilities because the responsibilities of the Emperor, they are endless. They have no finish whatsoever. One come after another and you have to face <clears throat> every single one of them with the same sense of emergency. So the next card regards to the um, challenges that you need to face here, and that is going to be the Queen of uh, Wands, and it is accompanied by the Two of Wands. Very peculiar. Now, we do have an, an active supporters in this position. Just give me a second, guys. That is a person as a challenge, and... Uh, this particular person, either a woman or a man, it doesn't really matter. They will try to, how can I say it? I would say use you, but not in a bad way. However, at the end of the day, um, it will seem that they have use of you, but you don't have use of them. It is kind of that kind of a, a type of a situation where someone uses you as a trampoline. It doesn't... Um, it doesn't obstruct you in any way, it does not create any plights for you, but in the same time, you may feel bad that you have allowed someone to uh, grow on your account without paying the bill for it, right? Uh, that is because um, it looks like that uh, this one here, the Queen, of, uh, the Queen of Wands, and with the Two of Wands, that person knows how to press your buttons, you know? That person very well knows... Uh, what you are going to agree to, what you are not going to agree to. They have that acute sense into your nature, into your business, into your emotions, into your relationship as well. And they pretty much maneuver in it very, very well. How you can overcome this, um, this challenge here? Well, it's a bit difficult. Uh, at the end of the day, the Emperor can definitely overcome the Queen of Wands. But it's just you need to show an unyielding behavior when you say no, that means no. And you shouldn't give any, um, kind of like any assumptions, you shouldn't leave any assumptions that you can change your mind. Even at some points, you got to become a little bit more aggressive, like, I don't know, maybe yelling or maybe... Well, it's it's kind of like giving to know, um, giving that person to see uh, that uh, this does not. It is not under. It is not how how do I say it here? It is not eligible for a objection. 
nowhere in the future. So, um, Queen of Wands and Two of Wands, it's a very aggressive combo and it does regards to the insatiable hunger of one person to grow and unfortunately this person is very selfish in this particular case because uh, I, they have that mentality with these two cards that everybody owns them something you know and so at this particular point you have to think of your own empire either your own empire could be your family relationship you know or your career you have to now think of it more than anything else and even though you may not be that kind of a person who says no this month you will have to so the next one it stands for the uh, intentions that you um, that you should incorporate that is the four of cups and it is accompanied by the Aeon card or it's represented by the Judgment card in the, um, in the traditional tarot deck. So we do have a passive enemies here. And with these two cards, it looks like that, uh, well, intentional wise, uh, obviously you have to be focused more upon the future than upon the past. But intentionally wise, these two cards points that you shouldn't bear any um, emotional attachments from the past into the future. It's kind of like looking only forward without looking backwards because these two cards are pointing that, well, I would say it that way, uh, and an uh, option available or an opportunity or a window of opportunity, you know, that seems meaningless in, and unsubstantial. It will turn out to be a real gold mine with these two. And it's going to be exactly what you needed to make your relationship or marriage successful or to make your career successful as well it is just is very important here once again not to bring up a poignant emotions from the past poignant emotions from a argument that you do have with your husband or a boyfriend or a wife or a girlfriend you know a poignant uh, emotions from failure into one's career now you have to kind of like an open a new page this is what i am uh, this is what I am trying to say. And instead of emotionally attaching yourself toward a certain situation, either new or old, you have to take it as a... Um, as simply, you got to take it as a uh, situation that needs to be dealt with simply, okay? Um, it's just do your job the way you are supposed to do it because you haven't went to work to make friends. You went to work, for example to uh, make money, right? So that, that is what you need to be focused on. But definitely uh, throughout intentionally wise here, you have to focus upon a taking on those kind of circumstances that will allow you to open once again, a new chapter in your life without looking backwards in the past. Uh, now, why this is all happening here, we do have the chariot card that, that is going to be the lesson and it is accompanied by the um, knight's of, uh, by the Knights of Wands. Knights of Wands in this deck is represented by the King of Wands in the traditional tarot deck. So we do have a passive enemies. As a passive enemies, uh, these two cards kind of like speaks for the... Well, how can I say it? For the right choice, maybe. I don't know. Well, I will try to explain it with the situation a little bit. So a person have an ambition and suddenly they realize that that ambition is going to cost them way too much. So they change their ambition into something more acceptable, something more accomplishable uh, throughout, uh, throughout the months of November. And while they succeed into this more accomplishable thing, that reveals them a, a, better, um, a better means, a better circumstances to go for the previous ambition. So maybe this is what the cards are asking you to leave the past for now and take the opportunity, seize the opportunity for a, a ambition or an agenda that differs from your original one. And when you are done with it, you can go toward the original one. And this time around, your the field in front of you is going to be much more clearer, much more deprived from plight, setbacks, you know, boundaries, uh, obstructions, and so on and so forth. But it is important here to understand that the lesson is going to be a bit rough. And it may appear in a uh, 
kind of like a, a very surprising fashion. What I mean it is that you may start reaping a huge success into the fields that you don't want to have any success in, right? You would want that success to be in a different kind of agenda or in a different kind of endeavor, and yet you are succeeding into an endeavor that you have pretty much have low priority if any priority at all into it and so instead of throwing and wasting you know your uh, your means into the grant agenda and it will be best for you to learn your lesson and to redirect them into the um, into the smaller one for the time being for the one that can be achieved throughout the month and once done it will serve you as a foundation for you to jump into the original goal of yours the final one, it is the energies that are to support you. We do have the Tree of Swords and it is accompanied here by the Six of Pentacles. Um, that is the quite, um, I would say, powerful. We do have an active enemies here and these energies are pointing, well, the energies will give you the power to change the current. So the more difficulties you, you, you face, the more the more you're going to fill up your quadrant from within, right? The quadrant with, with power. And ultimately, at the end, uh, simply you get, to say the, 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 you get to say the last word. What I mean is, like I said, to change the course of events, to change the current. And um, uh, like, like said beforehand, the more um, negative or rather like the more unpleasant the month is for you at the start, the stronger you will become for the end of the month where the future is going to be decided, where you finish, you know, this peripheral uh, ambition of yours. And from there, you have that surge of power to skyrocket yourself toward the original grand ambition of yours. So the more difficult it is, the more successful you are going to become. But at the end of the day, with these two cards at the end, uh, Capricorn, it doesn't look like that anything or anybody can really put your back against the wall and can corner you and can um, deprive you from progress. You are the only one who can deprive yourself from progress, but I do believe with these energies that you are very uh, well going to understand that. And while your current is going toward your uh, grand ambition, you are going to understand, or these energies will make you understand that it is good for the month of November to deviate a little bit, you know, so you can establish better positions. So that being said, Capricorn, this was your monthly tarot reading for November 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.